All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at the UVs, uh, normal maps. And there is a, this is a very useful tool inside Unreal where we can bake the maps, we can transform the UVs, we can unwrap meshes, and we can change the normals and tangents. So let's start by creating a primitive to see what we can do. So the first thing is the normals. And right now we will going to take a look at those later when we model something. But here, if you check the normals, you can check how my cube like gets smooth. This is also like changing the smoothing group. So if I change this angle here, you will see that I get a different result here for my smooth. And this is very obvious for the cube where all the angles are the same and so all the faces look like smooth shading. But if you want to reduce it, just reduce the angle and then you have the sharper faces. So if we go to one of our previous examples here, where you can see it's fairly smooth, we can go to our normals and then change the smoothing type to something less. I, when we go to zero, you can almost see the triangles here, just like that. And when you go up and up and up, it eventually gets more smooth. So this is one of the things. And another thing that is very useful, let's say you want to create an interior. If I go to my normal maps, uh, my normal groups, and then change invert normals, you will see my normals are inverted. So now, I'm inside a box because my normals are inverted. Uh, you can also have the fixed inconsistent normals in case you have something wrong with it. And you can flip this out. So this one is very useful. Let's keep taking a look at our, what other options we have. So we have our tangents. Uh, you can see I have my preview here. So I have show tangents and show normals. By default, this number is very small. So if I click on show tangents and show normals, you almost not, don't see anything. But if you get really close to here, you can see that here in my line length, I have, and you have the thickness here. You can increase the thickness and you can increase the length. So, this will give you an overview of how the normals are pointing and of course you can change the algorithm the, like how you want your normals to behave like per triangle or this one which is what we're using here the fast m i k k t space and it's basically when you want to shade the model here you can actually just try different tangents to see how your model will look like. Then we have the auto unwrap mode. And here is a very simple algorithm that will allow you to just auto unwrap your mesh. But I find that in my experience it's not very good. Uh, it can be very, uh, very not very good results here. So that's just to keep that in mind and you can also change the UV scale and this kind of stuff it seems like not really scaling here so let's go back to our original UV then we have the group unwrap and here we can unwrap by polygroups or we can do automatic or we can use the existing UVs and nothing has changed because I haven't created any polygroups so what I will do is go to my polygroups tab and Instead of that, I will just select select these two and then create a polygroup. And now where I go to my group unwrap, you will see that if I go to polygroups, then all this is a continuous UV island where I can unwrap this mode and I don't have any seam here. You can also change the type to different types of unwraps. See whatever works for you. Alright, you can also change the UV scale, like 0.5, you want something smaller, and then click on Accept. 
Another thing you can do, if I go to my surfaces here, go to my material instance, and let's say I want to preview this material, you can check I have my material here, if I have my group unwrap, and I want to check how my material looks like, I just need to go to my material mode and check keep original, and you will have an overview of how the my material is looking with the texture here and if you change the scale you can also see it on real time if you want to see the checkerboard to check the density and the stretching that's also fine or you can overwrite with another material so I can go maybe this one and click on here and this will give me another preview but when I click on accept of course the preview is only for visualization purposes and this one will go to my original one so another thing we can do is start the UV sim editing tools so by this by doing this I will start to do a remesh first it's just like this and then I will go to my UV edit sim and I will just click on this one Draw between vertices. Let's see how we can. Okay, so first we click on one of the vertices and then we hold the left mouse button and then just drag. So let's say I want to create a seam here. And you notice that automatically it will create the shortest path. And now we create a seam here and Later on, you can just do my transform UVs. Uh, for my transform UVs, you can see that I have all my UV shells are different. And here, let me change the light so we can see what's going on here. All right. So let's go back to our original mesh. And if I click on this one, you can see I have all my UV islands here and I can change the tiling of this ones. I can also check the checkerboard and um, notice that I'm only modifying one UV isolate and the reason is it's using my UV islands that I have before so I want to transform UVs and I want to transform all of them at once maybe I can go to my polygroups and then check by maybe two something like that and when I go to my UV layout I still have the same one so I need to do a group unwrap based on polygroups and then when I go to my transform UVs you will see I have my new UV islands here and all of these are also UV island so keep that in mind uh, what I can also do with the transform UVs is just move the gizmo so that I can take a look at how my texture looks if I offset the UVs you can check how I can just move them in case you want to do some adjustments to your meshes and last but not least is our baking tool so what we are gonna do is to create a Let's just say a high poly model. Let's use this one that we used from the lesson before. All right. So we are going to we are going to sculpt on it. Let's do the, some sculpting operations here. Reduce the size. And first of all, we want to remesh it. We want to let's just put something number quite high for this one. And maybe. 8000 all right so we're gonna sculpt here just like this add some detail all right increase the strength just keep keep adding detail here all right so I'm not going to sculpt all, all of it and then what I want to do is go to my transform tab and then I will duplicate and this will be my low poly and I'm going to keep the sources 
and I will be accept and with this one I will have my low poly here so what I want to do here is go create some unwrap so let's go to poly groups and then just put maybe 45 let's just say this is fine and maybe we can try the auto unwrap mode check the checkerboard all right it looks like okay for now and we can transform our uvs instead go to my uv layout to transform everything check transform here on my layout type and um, just type maybe two or one actually one because we want to pack the uvs and actually if we book repack we will repack our uvs so this one will be our uvs so let's go back to this position one way to do it is copy the location and then paste it but before that I'm going to load my low poly and this will be named my high poly so I'm going to here paste and then click on the high low poly and then on the high poly and in my group normals if you don't see it you can check big maps and here you can see I'm creating a new map in my case this is a normal map and you can see the result here you can change to ambient occlusion you can change to curvature you can create normal image position any kind of map you want and you can also increase the resolution and of course change the UVs now we're working in the UV zero change the workspace or not so let's say I want to create my normal map click on accept and now if I go to my content browser let's take a look at where this one is located go here control B to check where is it and you can see I have my normals here so I have my normal map here and you can see all my details this is very ugly but I mean it works and then right click create material and I will create a base color maybe something dark all right put my normal there click on accept and now I will just apply my material to my low poly here let's drag this out click on here and now you can see I have my materials <laughs> however I didn't really make the low poly I should have go to triangles simplify and then I will have like a real low poly version uh, I forgot that step but don't worry uh, it will give you the same result so you can see I'm having all this little detail here but in my mesh I don't I don't have the that resolution all right so we took a look at the UVs and normal maps very useful and if you like this video give us a like and subscribe to see more videos like this let us know which kind of video you want to see in the comments and if you need some help check the links in the description to get some free products and i'll see you in the next one